place, I decided I'd do something just a little bit different this time. I want to show you a project that I've been working on. We're making Christmas baskets for our jams and jellies for Christmas gifts. And uh, here's the large ones. They were actually made out of paint sticks. Paint sticks and square wooden dowels. That's it. And staples, of course. So I'm going to show you how I made these. I've got a large one, and I've got, got to make some small ones. So I'm going to show you how I made these small ones. But they're both made just exactly the same. Um, first off, you're going to need to find you some paint sticks. And these are actually, this is already cut. They came, they're actually this long. Um, they, they come in different sizes, but the ones that we bought are five gallon sticks. And uh, when I originally started this, I bought these to make this size. And so we cut them down. And this is 13 inches long. This happens to be 13 by, uh, I don't remember what it was. Oh, uh, about four and a quarter. 13 by, sorry guys. Uh, truck drove by and now my dog's gone, going nuts. It's 13 inches by four and a quarter inches by three inches high. And this one takes three sticks on the bottom, two sticks on the sides, on each side. And so what I did was I cut them down and made these. And that was going to be the end of it. And then I got to looking at all the scraps that I had left from the ends that I cut off and decided waste not want not I would make some smaller baskets so these smaller baskets are basically freebies because the only thing I had to buy from them was the these they're wooden dowels and I think they're half inch I just know that they cost $1.65 at, at uh, yeah, they're half inch at Lowe's. So, all, all that I'm going to have invested in the small ones are going to be these. Um, when you get through, you can paint them or stain them. Let's see if I can pull some out here. Um... Sorry guys. Okay, these are just whitewashed and then they've got, um, I took a paper towel and just made these little um, design on it, I guess you could sell, say. It's it's a um, texture. And then I just took this and I put, um, I'll show you how I did this. And I sanded it so it gives it an older look to it. And then I got some stain. And this is a, a gray weather stain. And I just barely wiped it on and wiped it off. And then I wanted a barn look. And so I took the ones that stained. And I did this with it. So it gives it an old look. So there's many different things that you can do with it. And I'll show you how to do that. So, but I want to show you the big ones. To decide how, I wa how big I wanted it, I took what I was going to put in it. And in this case, happens to be... Uh, now these are actually canning jars. And I, what, I've got whitewash in here. I, I had uh, 
I was using this for a couple of years to put um, water in it that I wash off my brushes for water painting. And right now it's just uh, paint mixed with, with water for a whitewash effect. But um, I made these so that three would sit in and they're going to be, there's actually going to be uh, raffia on the bottom. And so three sits in. And that's how I decided what size I wanted this one. So when I was doing the small ones, I decided I wanted to put two jam jars in here. And these are just regular half pints. And two sits in here perfectly. And again, there'll be a little wrappy in here to keep it. So find out what you're going to put in here and then take your measurements. And how I did that to start off with was I started with the bottom. And... For me, it was just easier on the just start with the bottom, and then I decided, okay, I need to do this, and two would it hit fit here, and it was just a little longer, so I decided what I needed to cut off. And so I wrote down my measurements already for this. So what you need to do is find the. Uh, ruler that I seem to have just picked up, used, and have lost in the matter of just a few moments sitting here. Oh, there it is. Okay. So these bottom ones, I'm going to measure. And I need them 18 inches long. I mean 18 millimeters long. So I'm just going to measure out what I need. And for me, I have two at the bottom, two on each side, so that's um, six these size, and then um, four of these size. And then you'll need to figure out how much you want this. I want. I still wanted the height of three inches, so these are three inches. And then you're going to need. Uh, two braces in the bottom that will hold your bottom together and for me that happens to be uh, four millimeters so these are three inches these are four millimeters and so for each box you need two bottom braces you need four side braces or corner braces and then you need to figure out how deep you want it you can have it just one slat tall you can have it two you can have it however many slats you want so for me this is what I came with this is how many I need so and then you start measuring off so I tried to do make sure that I've got Okay, I want to show you something. When you cut your paint sticks, you will have handles. I tend to like the fact that there's cuts, and I, I like the handles on here. You notice this one, I cut it a little short, so it's just a different... I'll show you. So I cut this part off so that it's a little different than this side is where it's the full handle. So you want to figure out if you want the handle on there. I tend to think it, it adds a little interest to it. How many of the handles you want. Um, for me, I would rather the bottom be total, total no handles. And then the sides, I like at least one handle on it, at least one side. It doesn't have to be on both sides. Uh, this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and do uh, a handle on each side. So there's one side, there's another side, there's my bottom. And then for my side, my short sides, 
Uh, my short sides are, what did I say these were? Three inches. And I can get two short sides from one. one of these size. So, I like to, to put out however many boards I need for one basket and measure all of those in groups so that I know that when I get through cutting, through marking and cutting, that I've got an e even number of, of planks for baskets so that I'm not stuck with um, a basket that I'm running out of short sides or I'm running out of long sides or whatever. So now that I got my measurements, um, this is my short side so I need two from each of these and they are three inches each. So that's one short side. my bottoms already marked them now your long sides and your bottoms are going to be the same length oh I said this is what 18 inches 18 millimeters I'm going to also look at your your wood and see now see, I, I'm cutting that part off, but you might want to decide that you like that knot. In fact, I do like that knot. We're going to change this one. Uh, we are going to leave that knot on there, because I, I tend to like knots. They give... Um, they give the wood, uh, the box, an interesting look. Here's another one. I like these knots. Okay. Now that's those marked. Now we've got quarter inch. Uh, I'll show you. Okay. These come in a yard. They're square dowels. Now how do you decide what size dowel you need? You're going to need to know what size your staples are. You don't want your staple going all the way through. My staple happens to come just right about uh, right about in here when it's done. So I actually had wanted a small one, a smaller dowel, but since my staples are a little long, uh, this was the size of the dowel we got. So this one I've already cut on, so I'm going to go ahead and finish marking this one out. And you can usually hide these because they're hard to get off. Because um, you can actually put like put the label in the corner unless you got a gap. But they can be painted on. But they are hard to get off. I say that and this one's going to come off. Well, no, see, they're a little hard to get off. But I tend to paint it, so they're covered up. Anyway. All right. Um, let's start with this one. I need four. That's three inches. Four. And then I need two that is four millimeters. And millimeters are these small numbers. So I might. Um, one's going to be a little short, so I'm going to divide this. We'll do. Um, yeah, we'll just do this. We'll cut it in half. Just as long as there's enough that I can get 
part of this staple on each side. Okay, we got them marked. Now let's cut them out. For me, the hardest part cutting on this is this. It's a little harder than the paint dowels. The paint dowels are a breeze to cut. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to speed up the video so that you're not sitting here watching me cut this. So, here we go. Okay, so now I have all my pieces cut out. I like to lay them out uh, the way I want so I know um, where the little things are going, the handles. So you've got two for the bottom, two for the sides, on one side, top side, um, short side, short side. You've got four corners. And then you've got these that are going to help hold the uh, bottoms together. Now these, I want to tell you, you want to make sure that they fit between these posts. So when you measure them out, make sure that you've got room between posts to put them. And I'm going to finish cutting out everything and then I'll show you how to put it together. Okay, here we are with our um, cut supplies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this is enough paint sticks along with our sides. And here are our corner sticks and our bottom sticks. So let me show you how these go together. What you're going to need for this part is a nail gun. Right here. Can you see this? Now don't be afraid of this little thing. Um, but do be cautious because um, this does this will actually here's the trigger uh, it will actually shoot without it being pushed in there's no safety feature right here um, so don't point it at somebody and shoot because it will shoot out it's it doesn't have a where well, there are some that will have a thing that you push in and it will only shoot it if you push it in this does not have that so do be careful because it will shoot so what we're going to do is these little ones go for the bottom Let's see if I can do this what I like to do is use one side as a prop to hold it level Okay, I'm going to hold it down and shoot.
and make sure you're on a firm surface otherwise you'll get wonky nails sticking out now like I said remember when I showed you this right here okay this is going to go at the bottom under here and then on this side will be another piece so actually hide that label so never put your finger on the trigger until you're ready to pull it There is the bottom. You get ready for the sides. There are actually going to be I'm trying to put this where you can see it on this side. Can you see that? Okay. Now put this to a side. The next thing you want to do is get side, and you want to do the same thing for the side. Now, that's, since these are a little longer, you can actually, what you really want to do is make sure that one is at the bottom. It's flush at the bottom. Let's try this. Can you see it now? You want it flush here and then flush here. Okay, same thing. Turn it around and do the other side. Um, now, here's, here's a little thing here. Let's see if I can get a flat one. Because this is not at the same length as this, you don't want to make this handle part flush. So, get you a straight board and yeah, there we go. No, try this again. Alright. This will help help you guide it. Well, there you go. Make it flush at this side. Hold it. Okay. Try this again. <laughs> okay. Add the next stick. And it's okay if they are not exactly even up. Because we're going for rustic. There's one side. Okay. You see this? <laughs> when I was looking to, to make sure I had enough, I ended up cutting uh, all the scraps I had. I was missing one, one piece. And I had one where I had tested the, the uh, stain. So... It, it's going to be stained. All of it's going to be stained this color anyway. So I'm going to use this one. This is a little bit easier since there's no handle. Uh, try to make sure I'm in the shot. Okay. Make sure that it is lined up at the bottom. And the side as much as possible.
Okay, there's that side. So right now what you have is two sides and a bottom. Now, I'll show you how it fits. See how this, this goes on this side? That's why you want to make sure that this will fit between these two. Okay. Now, we're going to do some testing here because I have been known to screw up. Okay. All right, now we're going to put the bottom on. And you just want to line it up as much as possible. Same thing to the other side. Oops, I ran out of staples. Okay. Okay. If you never worked with one of these, I'm going to show you how to uh, load this. I don't know if you can see. Kind of at an angle that's kind of hard to see. Okay, here we go. This has got a little lever right here. Press it down and pull this back. And then your staples go right here. Where these staples, it's kind of like a staple gun, only, I mean, you know, a stapler. You want these, you want the the open end to go up. So you'll put a strip down here and then you'll close it up. Okay? Okay. This is what a um, strip of staples looks like. Now, we're going to put these on the sides, like this, and you staple them, and I'll be back with the finished box. Okay, there we are. There's the finished little crate. Cute, ain't it? And you can leave it like this. You know, even with the stained <laughs> piece, you can leave it like this. You can stain it each one a different thing. You can paint it, whatever. Next video, I'll show you how to uh, do the barn wood um, look on it, where it's um, it's this color in the back uh, on the bottom with white on top, and with this showing through. And uh, if you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!